Hello, I'm Mess. I'm building this indie game called Fireworks Mania in Unity. While having a wife, two kids, a dog and a full-time job. The core idea of the game is that you should be able to play around with fireworks and have fun. However, I have some ideas for some gameplay that I can implement when the core mechanics are in place. If you think this game sounds interesting, you have multiple options. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel to follow along on the development of the game. You can leave a like if you like this video. And as a new thing, you can also wishlist the game on Steam. See the link in the description. Let's get started. In this devlog, I'm gonna show you how I prepared and published the store page on Steam. So players can start finding the game and add it to their wishlist. Let's get to it. So now you ask, why do we need this page to be published? The game isn't ready yet. No, it's not. But according to all the cool kids on YouTube, you should get your Steam page up as quickly as possible. And the reason for that is that player can then find your game and they can start wishlisting your game. And you really want that because when you release, then they will get a direct notification via email that your game is now ready. And that's a big deal. So to get started on Steam, you need to have an account on Steamworks and need to create uh, an a corporate entity or some kind of company to be able to actually release a game. I won't go into details on how to get started with Steam and all that because there's a lot of other tutorials on that. But basically you need a Steamworks account and set up and being validated. Then you go in and create an app which costs $100 and then you're actually ready to go. Then you can start putting all the information about your game. You can add screenshots and approximate release date and all that kind of stuff to get the Steam store page uh, approved because there is not a lot of improvements in, in this, but they will actually, uh, there will be a Steam employee looking through your page uh, when you're ready and you hit the now I'm ready button. Then they approve it and then you click, once you are really ready, you click another button where you actually publish the page. But before we get to that, I want to talk a little about the trailer, because the trailer is of course a super important part of your page. So that trailer needs to be very good. If I nailed it or not, I don't know, I'm not sure. And in the future, the trailer will be updated, uh, I'm sure, uh, when I get more content and uh, get some more things to show. However, I did two trailers. I first did one that was a little more maybe silly, than the game really is. The game is for fun and should be fun and is a little cartoonish, but maybe not as clown circus fun as the first trailer kind of made it look. I showed it to friends and family and they were kind of like, yeah, it's funny, but maybe a little too silly. So I saved a little snippet of that trailer because that ended up not being on the page, but here you can have a look at how the first trailer I did for the game actually looked and see if you also find it a little too silly. So even though it's kind of funny, it might sell the game as a little more cartoonish and a little more stupid maybe than it is. It is low poly and and it should be fun to play, but maybe not the circus clown funny. So I did some more editing and found a new song and then created the real trailer that ended up on Steam. And I'll show you here because it's only one minute. So let's see how the final version turned out.
so there you have the last trailer too. I think the last one is of course much better and much more serious. Um, but there is something about the first one also that is a little funny. But uh, I agree with uh, friends and family that it might sell the game as a little too silly. So what do you think? Is the first one the best one or the second one? Let me know in the comments. So at this point the trailer was done, I uploaded it, checked the page, it looked fine, and I hit the publish button to publish the site. And there you have it. The Steam page is published and accessible, and you can now wishlist the game. A fun little side note is that until your page I actually published, the game in the Steam client looks a little weird. A lot of the graphics are missing. You can't see a lot of stuff. It doesn't show up correctly. So it's actually pretty hard to see how your game will look in the client, uh, not the store page, but in the actual Steam client before you publish the page. So luckily that's also visible now. And to be honest, I think it looks pretty damn spiffy. As of recording this, it's actually four days since I published the page and already I got over 30 wishlists, which is kind of amazing because I didn't expect that at all. I haven't really done anything. I think I put the trailer on Twitter once and I published the trailer by itself on my YouTube channel here prior to this video. Um, but besides that, I haven't really done anything to get people to to wish this the game. This is the first video where I kind of say in the intro, please wish this the game. So that's very surprising. I would expect to be zero for a long time and I had to do a lot of PR and marketing stuff to get people to wish this it. But apparently people think it looks cool. So I'm happy. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. So that's great. So this is all for this devlog. I know it's a little short and a little uh, not very technical, but this is also a part of developing and releasing a game. For instance, getting the Steam page up and running. So as always, if you want to follow the journey of developing this game, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you like this video. And now as a new thing, as mentioned in the beginning, wishlist the game on Steam if you think it looks interesting and fun. Hope to see you in the next video.